The Elevate desktop application is a versatile, multi-platform tool that integrates with your business communications and increases agent efficiency when using their devices. You can easily download the desktop application from the Elevate app's landing page. Open any browser and go to serverdata.net forward slash Elevate apps. Click the download button for your platform, PC or Mac, and wait for the download to finish. Click on the install file from your download folder or from your browser's download list. The installation is pretty straightforward. Read and accept the usage agreement, select your installation options and directory, and click finish. A desktop icon will be created and the application will open to the login screen automatically. Enter your username and password and click the login button. When you first log in, you are able to select the application mode, selecting between the call controller or soft phone. The soft phone enables live call functionality directly on your desktop. With any PC or Mac compatible headset, you can use the desktop app as a hardware replacement or just to have a phone on the go. The call controller works together with your desk phone, providing click to call capabilities and call management features. The selection screen is only shown to you the first time you log in with the user on a new installation. However, you can change the application mode at any time in the options menu. Once you've selected an application mode, desktop is automatically configured to work with your voice services account and you will see the main display of the desktop application. When you first open Elevate Desktop, you are brought to the chat tab. This window displays a list of all of your recent conversations with other individuals in your corporate directory or any chat rooms you've created or were invited to. Clicking a recent item from the list will open the log chat with the individual or chat room you've selected and allow you to communicate further using the message field at the bottom. When in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you will see the individual's picture and availability status as well as their name and title displayed at the top. You can mouse over their picture to open their contact card, which will display additional information such as their extension and additional contact numbers, their manager, position, and department if entered in Hostpilot, and their email address. You can click the star next to their name to add them as a favorite, which will list the contact in a new section called Favorites above your recent chats. Additionally, you can share online meeting information and enter the meeting by clicking the Meet Now icon, start a new call with the contact using the phone icon, or even add a new contact to the current window to create a chat room. While in a chat room, you can change the name of the chat at any time by clicking the Edit Pencil icon or you can click the chat picture or members link to see all of the contacts in the current chat room. Just like in one-on-one -on -one chats, you also have the ability to share your online meeting information or add new contacts to the chat room. If you wish to chat with another individual that you do not have a recent conversation with, you can use the search field to look up their name in the directory and simply click their name to start a new one-on-one -on -one chat. If you wish to start a new chat room, you can click the chat icon next to the search bar to open up the full directory. Add a unique name for the chat at the top, select the users you want to invite, and click open chat to immediately start conversing with your team. The online meeting tab allows users with online meeting enabled to quickly access their meeting URL, dial in number, and access PIN. There are also quick links allowing you to email the meeting or copy the meeting info to your clipboard to share it on any communication medium. Finally, you can click the Start My Meeting button to open online meeting and start a new meeting on the fly. The ShareSync tab allows users with ShareSync enabled to quickly access the web application via a simple button and provides links to download the ShareSync desktop application on multiple platforms. The History tab contains all placed, received, and missed calls. You can even filter out only your missed calls by clicking the Missed tab at the top. You can mouse over an entry in the History and click the phone icon to immediately place a new call with the party, or click the chat icon to open a new chat with the contact. 
The Dial Pad tab will open both your Dial Pad and the corporate directory, listing all users on the same Voice Services account. You can scroll through the alphabetical list or search for a contact by typing their first or last name, phone number, or extension number in the search bar at the top. To call a contact, you can simply hover over the contact so that the phone icon is visible and click the icon to start your call. Alternatively, you can mouse over the user's picture to view their contact card. To call a phone number not listed on the account, use the dial pad or type the phone number in the search bar and press the call button. On the bottom left of the application, you will see your profile picture and a small colored circle indicating your current status, available, busy, away, or offline. The status will also display a phone icon in the middle while you're on a call. Clicking your profile picture will open the options screen, allowing you to manually change your current status and giving you access to your profile and desktop configuration options. The first menu item is your user profile, where you can see the information listed on your contact card. The next menu item is application settings, which allows you to adjust desktop functionality controls. Under application mode, you can change the primary functionality of the desktop app between the call controller or soft phone app. When assigned to the call controller, you will see a drop-down that lists all hardware assigned to your user account and a current assigned click-to-call device listed. You can only select one device as your primary click-to-call device, but you can change the device here at any time. When assigned to soft phone, there are no other settings necessary under application mode. However, this will add an additional menu item, audio settings, on the main options window that lets you select your audio source and input options for your headset and microphone. Under application settings, you can choose to show or hide incoming call and chat notifications. These are the small pop-ups that display on the bottom right of your screen when you receive a call or a chat message. You can also choose to enable or disable sound notifications, which will mute ringing on new calls and any sounds produced by new events in the application. Under Application, you can set Elevate Desktop to run in the background, which will minimize the app to your taskbar when you click the red X at the top right. If this is disabled, the taskbar icon will not appear while desktop is running, and clicking the X will close the application completely. You can enable or disable the ability for the application to run when your operating system starts. Enabling Create Detailed Log will start application logging, creating a log file of the events occurring in the desktop application on your computer. This setting should generally stay disabled unless you're having issues that requires in-depth troubleshooting with the support team. If you change any settings on the Options window, you must click the Save Changes button at the bottom to confirm your configurations. The Updates menu item allows you to check for and install new application updates. Finally, the About menu item is a simple display for the application description, copyright information, and a link to the legal information. If you have any issues while using desktop or desire new features, we encourage you to use this option to easily send feedback to the teams responsible. Now that we have gone over the main features and options in Elevate Desktop, we will explore making and receiving calls using both the call controller and soft phone modes. There are significant differences between using the call controller with a desk phone and using the application in soft phone mode. When using Elevate Desktop as a call controller, the application serves as an extension of your desk phone. This allows you to perform some call management options, such as placing or answering new calls, while your voice conversations occur on your assigned click-to-call device. When you receive a call in call controller mode, the desktop application will notify you of the incoming call with an audible ring and call information. If you have the app open on your desktop, the information will be displayed directly in the window, with additional options to decline the call to your Follow Me Forward setting or send it directly to your voicemail. If the application is minimized to your taskbar, you will receive a pop-up notification with the caller ID information. You can click the pop-up to access the full window display. To place a call in call controller mode, 
click the phone icon on a contact, or use the dial pad to enter a number and press the call button. Once a number is called, you will immediately receive a call to your desk phone, and upon answering, you will be connected to your dialed number and hear ringing. The application advises you that we are still waiting for the other party to answer. When the call is connected, the desktop app will display your active conversation, showing the caller ID information and call duration on the top left, as well as giving you some additional call control options. Making or receiving an additional call will add a call tab to the top of the window, allowing you to control both calls from the application. When managing multiple calls, the desktop app will display your calls on hold, and you can click between the call tabs to access the call control options for all conversations. While on an active call, you can use the Call Flip button to flip the call back to your extension, allowing you to pick it up on a different device associated with your user account. You can use the Park button to park the call on a virtual extension to be picked up from another device on the account. Parking from the application will display the parked extension where the call resides on the top left. You can also transfer the call to another user or phone number. Pressing the transfer button will open the contact list and dial pad. When you hover over a contact, you have the option of transferring the call to the user or directly to their voicemail. If you are transferring to a number that is not on the account, you will only be able to transfer the call directly. If you decide to end the call from desktop, the call is immediately disconnected from your device and the call is logged in your history tab. When using Elevate Desktop as a soft phone, calls made or received are all handled on the application using a headset and microphone. When you receive a call in soft phone mode, the desktop application will notify you of the incoming call with an audible ring and call information is displayed on the desktop window or through the pop-up notification. When you answer a call on the soft phone, you will notice a few additional call controls available to you. Using the buttons at the top left, you can mute your microphone, place the caller on hold, or access the dial pad for DTM of tone input for accessing automated menus or entering pins. Handling multiple calls at the same time also works similarly to the call controller, with the addition of being able to swap between calls directly on the desktop app. For more information on the Elevate Desktop app, visit our knowledge base for user guides and frequently asked questions. Elevate mobile apps allow you to place and receive calls, chat, attend meetings, and allow you to access ShareSync files from anywhere as though you were in the office. Thanks for watching.